my name is Scott Amber and I'm the choreographer of The Lord of Flies. The project was something that um, was kind of uh, brought to us um, almost like uh, just over a year ago actually and it came from the Scottish Arts Council of various bodies um, uh, up uh, in and around Glasgow and uh, they wanted to try and find a project that got school guys, lads who hadn't had any particular interest um, in dance or theatre to become involved in it in some way and it was particularly targeted at, at boys that's what they wanted to do was try and get lads in to do it and funny enough Lord, Lord of the Flies was like one of the first ideas that we came up with because we thought it's all lads and it's you know, a story that you think they really enjoy kind of telling and we thought that it might be an interesting springboard for some of the lads ideas as well because what we wanted to try and do is rather than set it like the novel in kind of that sort of 1950s public school boy of the wartime way is maybe update it a little bit and make it a little bit more relevant um, for the lads that we were going to involve. Rather than it being an education project that we were doing, the idea of it was to make a new adventures type show but have these non-dancers in it and uh, which is very different from doing an education project you know, because the kind of um, production values and the parameters are very, very different. Um, originally we started off with um, 150 lads from all kinds of different schools. Um, some um, were from um, youth groups that had a bit of an interest in dance, but a lot of them, I'd say maybe like 130 of them, uh, were just schools groups. And it was a bit potluck, they cast them it really wide, you didn't know who you were going to get. I've been working with the guys more or less for a year during school time, literally just like one session a week just kind of playing with ideas and trying to get them interested. Um, so we kind of managed to narrow that big field down into the guys who actually showed a real interest or a real aptitude or really wanted to commit to. So we've ended up with, uh, I think, 15 of these Glasgow lads who I think are going to have a great time. As far as choosing um, the professional dancers to be involved in the project goes. We had, we had quite a lot of people to choose from because um, New Adventures over the years has worked with hundreds of dancers. Um, and uh, at, at the time that the project was kind of developing, um, Swan Lake, which is a show with a lot of guys in, uh, was, um, was out on the road. Um, so I um, caught up with them in Glasgow and uh, just asked which of those guys would be interested in the, in the project. And most of them were. What I had to do was try and figure out who I thought would work with a mix of non-professionals that we had because uh, the aim is that uh, each professional dancer will kind of take two of the guys under their wing a little bit and act as mentors during the process uh, so I wanted to try and find people that would be able to fulfil that criteria uh, but also be creative and um, give me a lot because two weeks to create an 80 minute show from scratch is so little time and when I think about it I do feel a little bit sick. Uh, Terry Davis has been composing music for um, uh, Lord of the Flies. I mean Terry's, Terry's great, I mean he's just does movies, theatre, everything. I mean he works really really quickly and uh, uh, when we had the initial meeting with him he really liked the idea of Lord of the Flies because he just thought it had um, a great arc in it because it's got that um, really clear journey from kind of schoolboys and structure and you know everything's a little bit of a game and it's all very nice and it gets quickly darker and darker and darker and uh, he really enjoyed that kind of musical journey of it. Um, his music's very modern, um, when we do this show it's going to be, a lot of it's going to be pre-recorded but we're going to have a couple of live musicians with us as well who will be able to improvise around stuff um, which I think will be really really exciting just to give it that kind of live feel. I, mean, I think one of the things that, um, that Terry found really interesting to begin with was the the new idea we had for how we were going to present Lord of the Flies. I mean, because what, what we didn't want to do, and what Les Brotherson, the designer, really didn't want to do, was try and create an island, like a real sort of deserted island. Um, so what we, what we thought was if you're presenting it in a dance way, rather than as a play, you're already moving it into a particular theatrical language and so we thought well let's let's take that a little bit further let's be more theatrical and let's say that this group of um, schoolboys for whatever reason have been stranded in a deserted theatre and they make an 
island, a playground from things that are around them. So we're kind of asking the audience to kind of go with the conceit, the idea. As far as our story goes, uh, there's kind of some unspecified kind of conflict going on outside and that the lads have been put into this space maybe for the protection. They're left alone as they are in the novel and uh, events unfold as they try and create a home within this kind of empty, scary theatre space. I don't want to give any more away than that, really.